Hey there, it's another product update at White Lance. We have this new functionality which enables you to edit your menus. So as you can see along the top here, we've got a very weird looking menu. But um, basically, this is all coming from the new menu system. And if you log into your admin dashboard and you look at the menu item, you'll see there are three different menus here, which correspond to the uh, relevant uh, authentication of your users. So in this case, it's, this user is a freelancer. And if we change this to uh, log in as a customer, we'll see the customer menu. And if we log out so that we're not logged in at all, this is all we'll see, we'll just see the inbox. So if we look at the freelancer, for example, we can do a number of different things. For example, we can move items around. So let's save that. So the profile should shift to the front. Let's see what that, what happens here. Okay, there we go. Um, we can shift an item underneath another item. So for example, we can Uh, you can see under here uh, the proposal is shifted from under jobs to its own uh, menu item, top level menu item. Let's have a look at that. There we go. Proposals now has its own menu item and let's move it back under jobs. There we go. Now it's moved back. And then in terms of the items themselves, you can redesign them. Uh, so you can rename this, let's say profile two. That's been renamed. Uh, we can also change the design from the standard text to a button. So you can see here the profile two here is listed as a button. If I untick that, this should go back to being a regular text item. There we go. So this is useful, for example, the button, it, it can be useful for a, as, a, as a call to action. Uh, it could be an external link that you create, you know, log in here, register here, apply for this competition, etc. Uh, refer a friend. Um, you can also set it as an item. So this is this is an icon here, uh, which uh, you can see is this one. So it's the inbox at the moment that you, you know it's an image because it, this button here that says remove image. We don't have it displaying the actual image itself yet in the admin dashboard, but that's coming soon. So if I remove this image now from the inbox, okay, let's save that. Now the inbox should now appear in text form. There we go. So we can change that back by uploading a file and it will appear an image file in this section. Okay, so uh, we covered renaming. Uh, we can also change the, uh, the URL of an item. So Let's change the URL of this profile. So let's change that to actually, let me just, uh, yeah, change this to google.com. And now instead of it being an internal link, it's going to take us to an external link. There we go, google.com. So let's change that back to freelancer. I think that is it. Um, ah, yes. Okay. So if you want to edit the, the default menu item, or if you want to edit the new button design, you could do so in your style page. Just search under buttons for menu. 
So menu button styling is, this is the menu button. So there's, as always in the styling section, you've got the default style, you've got the hover style, which is this style, and you've got the active style, which is when you, so this is defaults, this is hover, and then when I click it, that's active. Okay, and then this is the default menu button styling. So this is what you see currently on the page. So this is default. And then when I hover over it, you can see change this color. This is a hover. This is the hover. So I hover over it. And then again, when I click on it, that's the active state. So we're introducing two new uh, styling types here uh, for you to play around with. So that's how the new menu system works. Any questions, just let us know.